Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGATSEC. Good news for those who bought the Tencent Games Edition or the China version of the Red Magic 6 Pro. The Global ROM has just been released by Nubia and in this video guys, I'm going to show you what to do if you want to convert to that Global ROM. So let's get this conversion guide started. And just to show you guys on the China ROM or the Tencent Edition version, I am on version 2.63. And if you click on the details, it's all in Chinese, so you don't really know what was updated unless you use a translation tool. So, in order to convert to the global ROM, I provided the download link for the Nubia website where you can download either the Europe version or the Europe ROM or the North America and Asia ROM. So for this guide, I'm actually going to be using the North America one or the North American Asia version, which is version 412. So you can go to the link directly from the phone or if you're like me and you're using a laptop, you can just download it to your machine first, connect it via USB and copy it to the phone. So let me open up my file manager guys. And before you actually start guys, make sure you back up your files and photos because this is going to do a factory reset on your phone so you're going to lose all the data on the phone. And also please make sure that your battery is charged higher than 50% just so it won't die on you while you're updating the phone and you might risk breaking the phone. Now for those who use the phone to download the global ROM file, it's going to be in your download folder. So there it is. All you need to do is press and hold, crop or cut, and paste it on the root folder. So you should see it at the bottom guys. Now all you need to do, go to settings, go to system update, click on the top three dots, and click on local update. Now you should be able to see that NX669J dash update that zip. Make sure that you download the file that's meant for the Red Magic 6 Pro because if you download any other file on that site then you're going to end up with a dead phone. So I chose that one and install now. Alright so once the update is complete it's going to ask you to reboot the new system. So in my case guys, it didn't do a factory reset as I was expecting but you can tell right away if some of the apps are missing, you're not going to be able to open some of them. So I think the best thing to do guys would be to do a factory reset before you actually try to update the phone. But in this case, I didn't do it so now I'm stuck with some of the Chinese apps so it's not going to be functioning correctly. Let's go to system, alright. So now I'm on the English version or the global version and it's version 4.12. Just so we make sure that this is a fresh install, since I already backed up my files, I can go ahead and do a factory reset. So hang on guys. Okay, I'm going to do a reset. A few moments later. Okay, now you're on the global ROM, you're going to be able to choose a lot of language options. Netherlands, Indonesia, English, Espanol, of course I'll be choosing English. And start. So the Global ROM now actually supports Google Pay. So once you enable it or once you convert the Global ROM, you have access to Google Pay. So you can add the card, but I'll be skipping this one for now. All right guys, so full conversion is done. So I guess now one of the questions that we should be asking is, does the Global ROM actually perform better or worse than the China or Tencent ROM? So in order to find out, let me install N22N 3D Mark and I'll run a quick test. And I've also got a couple of questions from the viewers whether you can use a third-party launcher. So I'll try to download Nova Launcher. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, so unfortunately guys, you can't use the Nova Launcher on the phone. Opening it works fine, but when you try to go to home, it's going to automatically go back to your default Nubia launcher. So that's a bummer guys. And one good thing to note here guys is that since this is an official or a supported method of converting to the global ROM, you will be retaining your OTA because we didn't unlock the bootloader. So when and if a new update arrives on the phone, you're going to be getting it automatically. So I've downloaded N22 and 3 d Mark. Let me run N22 now. That's installed. Let's go ahead and open up the dedicated game center. 
And good news guys, the bypass charging or the charge separation is actually intact on the global ROM. So let's go ahead and start the entity benchmark. So let's start version 9.0.5 on the global version or the global ROM of the Red Magic 6 Pro. Alright guys, so the test is done. Let me put up the previous results from the China version and this is the results I'm getting on the global version. So the scores are not too far apart so that tells me performance wise that they should be pretty similar. And in terms of temperature, the phone got up to 39.6 over to 38.4 on the China version. So again, not that much of a difference. So I'll let the phone cool down and then I'll be running the 3D Mark test. Alright guys, so let me run the wildlife stress test again on the Red Magic 6 Pro but this time on the global ROM. So let's start the test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so the test is done. Stability is still pretty good, 99.1, and the scores aren't too far off from the China version. That scored a little bit higher at 5,700, but you've got 5,686 over here, so not too much of a difference. So the phone still performs pretty well, and in terms of temperature, it actually got a bit hotter at 50 degrees. Whereas on the China ROM, the maximum temperature that I got during my test was around 47 to 48. So overall, it performs pretty much the same as the China ROM. So if you guys are interested in converting to the global ROM, it's now available on the Nubia official website. And if you follow my guide, you should be able to install it without issues on your Tencent version or your China version of your Red Magic 6 Pro. So now you get the global ROM, but you've got the 120 watts fast charging. So to prove that this is still working on the phone, even though I am on the global ROM, let me get that charger real quick. So here's the charger guys. 120 watts let me plug it in all right guys so if you can see here let me just focus on it it's charging so you've got the china version or the tencent games edition running on the global rom but you still retain the 120 watts of fast charging with the 120 watt charger so you do have the best of both worlds you've got the global rom and you've got the 120 watts charging if you bought or pre-ordered the official global version of the Red Magic 6 Pro, that phone will have the larger 5050 mAh battery but the maximum charging that it supports is just 66 watts. So if you're after 120 watt charging then the Tencent Games Edition is the way to go. And the one great big advantage that the Red Magic series has over the other gaming phone is that the conversion to the global ROM is officially supported because Nubia themselves actually provide the global ROM for download if you want to convert your China version. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have the China version or the Tencent version of the Red Magic 6 Pro and will be converting to the global ROM. And if there are any of you having issues with the conversion, you can reach me on Instagram under the same name, egottech. So I'll end this quick video here guys. I hope this conversion guide would be useful to you. But until then, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.